Okay, this video we're going to do a little bit of y equals mx plus b and what the correlations are, a little bit about slope and y-intercept and, and how it's useful in the chapter you are currently working on or project you are working on. y equals mx plus b is the equation of a straight line, okay, where m is the slope, the ratio of the change in y over the change in x, and b is the y-intercept. Where, where does that line cross the y-axis, okay? So, uh, <clears throat> all right, so in a nutshell, if it's a positive slope, the line is going to look like this, which means as X increases, Y increases, okay? And the negative slope looks like this, a downward trajection, as X increases, Y decreases, okay? All right, so, and where does that line cross the Y axis? That's the Y intercept as noted with the with the b the b is called the y-intercept all right okay <clears throat> and now let's go to an example all right let's just say i've surveyed uh, these many students uh, the day before a test and this is how much they studied the day before the test now you would think before i even look at anything the more you study the higher the grade, I mean, on average, I mean, not there are exceptions, but for the most part, you would think the you want to see if there's a correlation between the hours I study and, and the grade, which I expect to be higher. And so I would expect when I'm done that my slope is going to be positive. And as a, the more I study, the higher the grade. OK, so that's what I'm going to expect when I do this. So I'm going to first solve for the slope. The slope is more function statistical. Slope, okay. I'm going to do the known y's first. So I'm going to do all my y's first. Make sure you do the y's first. Known x is second. Here's my x's, okay. All right. There's my slope. So 2.48, I guess. We'll just round to two places, all right. <clears throat> and that's my slope. The y-intercept, I'm going to do more function statistical. I'm going to go intercept. Not y-intercept in Excel, but intercept even though it is the y-intercept, okay? Uh, intercept right there. Again, y's first. Make sure you grab the y's first, okay? And here's my known x's, ours I study, okay? And boom, okay? So we'll say uh, 59 is my y-intercept. So my equation is going to be y equals 2.48x plus 60, I mean plus 59, okay? Now... In, in Excel, you could plot these points, okay? And, and to plot these points in Excel, you go Insert, Charts, Scatter. Oops, I forgot. I need to, you need to highlight all the data first, sorry. Forgot that. Highlight all the data first, X's and Y's, just highlight them all. Go into Charts, Scatter, okay? There's the dots, okay? As you can see, basically, as I... As X increases, so does Y, okay, for the most part. Now I'm going to draw a line through here. I'm going to put plus. I'm going to do tread line, okay. All right. And there is the 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 line that you're going to, every time you plot a bunch of points, you're going to get a trend line that goes through the points approximately as, as best as possible. And, and Excel is going to do that for you. And the, the equation of that line is, you already calculated it, y equals 2.7 or 2.48x plus 59, okay? That's the equation of that line, all right? You found the slope, you found the y-intercept, all right? So now, what this allows me to do is if I want to, based on the data, if I uh, studied say, um, six and a half hours, what would I expect my grade to be? I just simply plug, plug in six and a half for X. So I would go Y equals 2.48, oops, 2.48 times 6.5 plus 59, okay? All right, <clears throat> so I would get, 
Okay, I moved these equations over here. So I plug in 6.5 for x. So if I studied six and a half hours, I would expect to get approximately 75.12 on my uh, test, okay? So that's how you use the data to find the slope, to find the y-intercept, which allows me to plug in, in this case, how many hours would I study? What grade would I expect based on the data given? Now let's go to another one, okay? Now, the day before a test, I, I asked a few students, how many hours did you watch TV the day before the test? And what was your grade, okay? So we'd expect that to be a negative correlation. In other words, the more I watch TV the day before, the lower, the, the, the lower my grade. So this is gonna be a negative slope, as you'll see. So again, I'm gonna go slope, and I'm gonna do formulas, more functions, statistical, slope, And again, do the Y's and do the X's. Okay, so there's my slope and my Y intercept. I'm going to do the same thing for intercept here. Intercept known Y's, known X's. Okay. All right, so that's my just. Make it consistent line. All right, so now my equation is going to be, and I'm going to pull this. So now my equation is y equals negative 3.33x plus 99.1, okay? Say, so, all right, let's just do that, okay? So there's my equation. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scatter plot, all right? You see it's going to be a, a downward slope, a negative slope. Um, insert charts, scatter, there it is. And if I want to add the trend line, if I want to. Okay, so this trend line, which again approximates uh, a, a straight line going through the data points, has a slope of negative 3.3 and has a y-intercept of 99, okay, 0.1. So again, that'll allow me, if I watch say uh six hours at uh, uh, say seven uh, seven hours of tv the day before a test it would be y equals negative 3.3 times 7 plus 99.1 and i would get let's see 99.1 minus 3.3 times 7. i get about around a 76 okay so i would expect to get around a 76 if i watched seven hours of TV the day before the test, okay, based on the data, all right? Now, okay, so that takes care of the Y equals MX plus B stuff. Now let's go over correlation, okay? How strong is the correlation, all right? Okay, correlation coefficient and slope are really two different things. The only thing that's common between a slope and a correlation coefficient is that if you have a positive correlation or correlation coefficient, you're going to have a positive slope. And if you have a negative correlation uh, coefficient, you're going to have a negative slope. What, <clears throat> how strong is that linear correlation is what it's asking. Let's start with the highest. Our, if, if those dots, here's, here's my dotted lines, okay? They're kind of hovered around that line, but they're not straight. If those lines, if those points ended up being perfectly linear, in other words, that's a straight line that goes right through every point, which in real life is really not even possible, but you know, that's where we're starting. R equals positive one, okay? That is the strongest, that means it's a perfectly linear and it is absolutely one-to-one -one ratio as a slope, R equals one, okay? And all the data, data line goes through, okay? If it's a really, really strong correlation, those lines are gonna be hovered really close around that trend line. And you would say that might be like R equals 0.98, okay? If it's still strong, but, you know, the, the, it's still all the points are in a upward trajectory of positive slope, but they're a little bit more scattered about that trend line. Uh, it's still a strong positive correlation, pretty strong, but we might say this might, might be about 0.86. And then if they're all over the place, even though they're still trending in a positive direction, that correlation might be 0.42, okay? So that's the difference between 
a, a perfect correlation. This is called a perfect positive correlation. This would be really strong correlation. This would be a, a strong correlation. This would be a weak or maybe even no correlation at all, okay? When <clears throat> um, the points are just so far that uh, um, away from that line, okay? And now the same with the negative, all right? A perfect, a line that goes three points absolutely perfectly in that direction R is negative one, okay? And again, the same thing, if we're, if it's trajecting down and these uh, points are close to that line, might be negative 0.97 if they're still going down, but uh, a little bit farther away, that correlation might be 0 0.8, negative 0 0.82. So that would be a strong, pretty strong correlation. This is very strong negative correlation. And again, if they're all over the place, this might be a negative 0.49. So <clears throat> in a nutshell, as far as correlation goes, the correlation R is between one and negative one always, okay? Negative one being a perfect negative correlation, uh, one being a positive, perfect positive correlation. And depending on where the data, how far the data is away from the line. Um, see, I mean, all these could be the same slope. Maybe, the, you know, I mean, if this, this could be the same slope as this, but the correlation is different because all the points are, are, um, are, are not close to that line where these points are, okay? All right, <clears throat> so now how do we find that correlation coefficient in Excel, okay? Okay, so then with, it's coral. In Excel, it's coral. So we go formula, more function, statistical, go coral. And um, I would just, you stick with always Y's first. It, it works out, you know, okay, and stick with X is second, all right? So this is a positive 0.95 correlation, okay? So very strong correlation, 0.95, between hours studied and what my grade I, ex I expect to have, right? So very strong positive correlation, all right, close to one. So if I were doing an analysis, I would say there's a very, very strong correlation between number of hours I study and my grade, okay? All right, let's go to the other one. Of course, we're going to get a negative correlation, right? This one we expect to get a negative correlation. Okay, correlation coefficient, okay? And um, so this one, again, we do more function, statistical, coral, okay? Do the y's first. Just getting out, but always doing the y's first, okay? And x is second, all right? And there it is, like negative 0.9. So there is definitely a strong, pretty strong negative correlation between number of hours I watched the day before test and my score. Okay. All right. I hope that helps.